And I'm sure you know about it once I bring it out. This is called the truth of 1914. World War One. This Christmas will be 100 years ago. That's right. It happened in the midst of the fiercest fighting war, uh, war World War One. Mm -hmm. The story most remembered was that a German soldier began singing Still Night. And his solo soon became a chorus as he was joined by English voices singing Silent Night. The British regiment serenaded the Germans with the first Noel, and the Germans sang back to them, O oh, Tantenbaum. Men from both armies laid down their weapons and crept cautiously, then quickly, into no man's land to share food, cigars, drink and even play a game of soccer together. Funny how a song about a savior's birth came to be a rallying point for peace. Right in the middle of a war, but that's exactly why the baby was born, to bring peace on earth. Does your attitude proclaim that you are a person of peace and goodwill? Is there a person with whom you need to call a truth to be reconciled? Not just for a day, but from this point forward. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes we just got to realize that maybe, Mark, as ugly as, as everything is, the one blessing that you and I have deep in our hearts, that's what we are, peacemakers. And it gets us so angry because we see the evil the ugliness, and we see it so clearly that everybody we meet, we just want to shake them and go, you've got to pay attention, yeah. you know? But that's because I believe deep in our hearts, this is what our time, what you and I are meant to do. Mm -hmm. You know, we're, we're meant to be here on the internet. you got to figure, we've got a worldwide audience, Mark, worldwide. Yes, yes we do. So we are we are. Who knows what you and I um, have? We, we've laid the groundwork, Mark. Let's face it. You know, uh, if people didn't have internet radio shows and, and newspapers, such what we have and what we've created over the years. So we've been part of this whole thing. So I do believe that we have to keep moving forward in what we're doing. You know, it doesn't matter anymore with Fox News. It doesn't matter. What we have to watch is what the big picture is doing. That's what we have to do. Yep. If we keep our eye on the big picture, Mark, we can help the small people. But yeah. right now, that news, Fox Media, they're not going to want to hear. They're, they're controlled. And, 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 and then, you know what I'm saying? And the more we go below them to try to get them to hear us, I think their rot is going to spread to us. We don't have their rot. We can say and do what we want. We can put our shows up. We can take our shows down. You can put up an article. You can take it down. You can put it up five times if you want. Follow what I'm saying? Yep. So my problem is with Mr. Soros getting to level that he's getting to, this is all about control. And sooner or later, they are going to control you and I. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But we're seeing, we're seeing it right now. No, 